Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fisherman Tech Orders, and today is Wednesday, March 30th, here to share an updated fish report from the Long Beach Island area. So we're kind of bouncing back out of that cold snap last few days, and uh, today it's a little on the chilly side, light onshore breeze, but um, it's definitely starting to warm up. Looks like next couple days we'll, we'll fill in uh, with some warmer temperatures, and hopefully the fishing bounces right back to where it was before the cold snap. Uh, fishing was very good, fishing here on LBI on the bay side, uh, and also the other you know, local areas, uh, say Tuckerton area, Tom Zerver area, uh, and also the other early season hot spots throughout the state. Uh, hearing some good reports already coming out of Raritan Bay, hearing some great reports coming out of Delaware River as well. Uh, here locally on Long Beach Island, there's a number of great spots to fish on the bay side, uh, whether it's street ends like the one I'm standing at here, uh, the, the sod banks, the bridges, there's definitely a lot of public access for saltwater anglers to get out and enjoy the spring fishing. Uh, most anglers right now are fishing with smaller lures um, or live bloodworms. I uh, also heard some reports coming from anglers that are doing the perch game, fishing the lagoons. Um, so there's kind of a couple of different things happening right now. Uh, other than striped bass, other than perch, you also have winter flounder. Uh, if you're looking to get into those, definitely look towards uh, fishing the holes and channels in a, in a boat, uh, muddy areas, and you're gonna chum them up and uh, fish some small hooks. Uh, similar to blowfish style fishing um, and use worms, small piece of clam. Um, the classic trick of using corn is also a good tip that I can share with a little corn on the hook. Um, adds a little, little um, you know, a, a yellow, uh, more high visibility can help out a bite that's slow. Um, I think I mentioned in an earlier report also, you could get a plunger and put on a piece of PVC, kind of stir up the bottom, plunge around, and, and sometimes that gets a slow uh, day active. Uh, but definitely want to be chumming. Uh, there are ways to fish for winter flounder off land-based uh, areas here in LBI. You could fish the local uh, docks here in Ship Bottom. There's a public dock right near down the street from the shop. Cast into the channel and um, you get a good opportunity there fishing bloodworms for uh, winter flounder and also striped bass there. Uh, I have a lot of anglers coming in asking where to go fishing. Uh, I see a lot of a lot of people asking online. Uh, without, you know, spot burning a bunch of places. Um, it, it is safe to say that Ship Bottom is, is loaded with public areas. There's a number of street ends. A, a quick look on Google Earth will give you some ideas of where to go. Um, stop in the shop. We're definitely more than happy to, to help you point you in the right direction, get you into some fish. Uh, this is where I'm at right now is right right by behind the Acme. It's kind of where I live. Uh, a lot of people ask where I'm shooting a lot of the reports from. This is a, a spot that I check out. Um, there's an open stone lot here, this street, uh, street over. Um, there, there's a bunch of public streets like this throughout LBI. I just have to do a little poking around and looking. Um, Surf City has a lot of access. Ship on them has a lot of access. Obviously, everyone knows about the bridges. There's a lot of access to all the bridges. Um, as far as fishing goes, I would suggest fishing the middle of the bay. Uh, you start getting towards the inlets right now. I would suggest uh, staying away from those areas. You got colder ocean water that's going to cool off that bite. Uh, it's definitely slower striped bass action, slower winter flounder action. Uh, near the inlets. So fish the deeper bays. Uh, when I say deeper bays, the back bay. People ask what in the world is the back bay? Well, the back bay is around back. Um, the front is the beach and the back is the bay. And we're talking LBI here, Long Beach Island. Um, the deeper bays, I'm not really referring to deeper bays as the deeper water depths. I'm referring to deep bays more as more or less the further further back um, from the inlet. So say the back side of say Brant Beach, Ship Bottom, Surf City, uh, North Beach, Harvey Cedars, areas like that. Uh, so hopefully that helps you out, point in the right direction in, the, in terms of uh, locations. But uh, as far as striped bass fishing goes, it's been nothing short of phenomenal. Um, the, the local anglers have been really, really good. I personally haven't wet a line. I've been super jammed up at the shop. Uh, so I appreciate all the feedback I'm getting from everybody else who is out and about and putting the time in and, and getting into some fish. Um, Tyler at the shop, also Frez at the shop, Willie at the shop. They've all been putting some time in and catching a lot of good fish. Uh, Willie just reported uh, had some fish this morning before work, uh, so it's great to hear. I know some guys have been fishing um, late night, doing some good work on them. Uh, so it's great to see the striped bass fishing is strong at this point in the season. Uh, I know some guys are catching some good fish really right on through that cold snap that we had for a few days. Uh, if you've been paying attention to the reports, some of the posts I put up on social media, that cold snap we had some stiff westerly winds. Uh, stiff west is going to be best to see those gannets active. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, check out our social media. I'll toss one up here now. Um, the gannets were, are kind of making their, their move up the coast. 
Uh, West winds got them active. They were dive bombing like kamikazes, um, almost Armageddon style here for a few days in a row. Uh, heard some reports coming out of the Ocean City and Brigantine area. Uh, definitely a good stretch of uh, birds flocked up all along LBI, uh, hearing them in the northern reaches of the state as well. So Monmouth County up in Raritan Bay. So these fish are uh, moving, these birds are moving, uh, the bait's moving, and uh, things are progressing really, really good. Uh, we are now at the end of, of March. Um, April 1st kicks off here on Friday. If you're not aware, April 1st is the beginning of tog season. So we've got a one month of tog fishing. Spring togging is awesome. So stay in the loop on that. Hopefully you're gonna head out and get in some tog action. If you wanna get geared up, stop by Fisherman's Headquarters. We get you in the game. Right now we have live green crabs in stock. Uh, definitely hard to find good baits right now, but we got um, a good selection of live green crabs. We also got live blood worms. Uh, hoping to have some fresh bunkers soon. Hopefully have some fresh clams really soon. Uh, stay in touch here, whether it's through YouTube, Instagram, uh, or stop in the shop. Love to talk to you in person. You know, located right here at 280 West 9th Street, Ship Bottom, New Jersey. It's the entrance to LBI, right on the right hand side. If you're looking for tips and tricks down throughout the entire season. Let us know, more than happy to help. Have a great day.